this morning kotaku uk put out a statement saying that from this wednesday they will no longer be functioning anymore Oh, play it! Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface, who brought you such titles as Kotaku in serious trouble after crossing new owners. And this year alone, Kotaku can't wait to go out of business, it seems. Kotaku declares war on D.Va. Oh, they already lost. And Kotaku could be in serious trouble. Now brings you the headline, Kotaku UK has gone out of business. What a surprise! Now, first and foremost, before I go into the farewell speech, uh, I don't relish people losing their jobs at all. Uh, and the people who I always feel sorry for are the behind-the-scenes people. Uh, the people who work in various departments, we never see them, we never hear from them, uh, and they're there and they're keeping the structure of the company going uh, while it's the big mouth activists which uh, cause all the problems for places like Kotaku and no doubt expedite uh, their demise. So I feel sorry for, for the former, uh, but not for the latter. I couldn't give two shits about them. Uh, but let's go into this. This statement was released this morning at 9 a.m. That was, uh, you know, opening time here in the UK. From Rich Stanton from Kotaku UK. Uh, farewell from Kotaku UK, it stresses. And then we, look, I'm just not even going to go into this first paragraph because it's just pompous drivel. All right. Video games have changed a lot in the time since Kotaku UK launched. No. No, they haven't. But you know what has changed significantly? Games journalism. Even going back 15 odd years, even places like IGN were still servicing the customer. Even though they clearly had their relationships with the corporations, with the publishers, with the developers, they still understood where the clicks came from. And that was the people who were interested in purchasing these games. Somewhere along the line, and I don't know exactly when, but somewhere along the line, the journalists thought, let's just go to war with the very people that we need to click onto our site while chumming up, kissing the ass of the developer, publisher to retain their access. Unless, of course, it advanced you on a personal level, in which case, throw them under the bus as well. Games journalism has gone downhill. Games haven't changed, particularly, in terms of how they're structured and the company's trying to make money. But what has definitely changed is the way that games journalists talk about them, position them, looking for the political angle, looking for the social justice angle at every given opportunity. And if you can't see that, you don't deserve to function as a company. Gamers haven't changed. You changed. And will continue to morph and move at breakneck pace in the years to come. Sadly, we won't be around to guide you through them. Hold on. Hold on. No, I still can't muster any tears. Sorry. For those that don't know, Kotaku US is run by Geo Media with future publishing licensing out the brand and content for the UK site. The one you're reading right now. Well, kind of. Unfortunately, few <laughs> uh, unfortunately for you, not necessarily for us. 
Unfortunately, Future has decided not to renew the license when it expires on Wednesday, 9th of September, meaning the end of the current incarnation of Kotaku UK. Sadness. <laughs> it's not sad at all. I wonder why. I wonder what. Can we just go back to here, please? I wonder why. The first thing that you did, Kotaku, I'm just talking in general, not necessarily Kotaku UK, but you have to bear in mind, anything that the US branch does is going to have a knock-on effect to the others. And the first thing that Kotaku did when the new owners came in was to go to war with them. So what was it that was so heinous and horrific that it made them rise up against their new ownership? Well... The, you see, the new owners wanted them to uh, do their jobs. Yes, the new owners wanted the sports division to talk about sports and not politics. They wanted the games division to talk about video games and not social political talking points or again, just political talking points. Instead, not to use this as the activists, because that's what they truly are and not journalists, own personal platform to espouse their drivel. They wanted them to service the customer. They wanted the customer to get what they thought they were coming for, to the site to get. How horrible is it of them to think that? And this has been going on for a long time now. And any company that actually wants to make some money truly understands that you can't alienate your customers to do that. As we've seen in recent times with Star Trek and Star Wars and Doctor Who and keep franchise name going and going and going. Because they're now run just by a bunch of activists, not people who are looking to entertain the customer. Kurtzman himself said recently that it's not about Star Trek anymore. It's about using the platform of Star Trek to promote their own political values. The same goes for this right here. And if you think, well, as come on, dude, we've in the middle of a, a global crisis, you know, with, with COVID and everything, and a lot of people are losing their jobs right now, this could easily be just another victim of that. During the COVID crisis, my channel and many channels like mine have done the best they've ever done because people were flocking online because they couldn't work, because they couldn't go to their schools. They flocked online to get their escapism. They flocked online for entertainment because the cinemas closed down. The TV shows were closing down. So reruns were happening. They came online. They wanted to hear about games. They wanted to play games. It was huge business. And Kotaku go out of business. I have joked, and I say joked, I really am not. I've been jo I've been talking in here. Kotaku seriously is pushing it to go out of business. Well, guess what? The UK branch has gone. Now US, how shaky do you feel? Because I tell you what, if you go down next, not a single solitary person will shed a tear for your fucking assholes. Not one. You brought this on yourself with your garbage tier writing, with the war that you wanted to rage against the very people who you needed to come onto your site and click your adverts. That's why your ad revenue went. And do you know why they went to war with people like YouTubers and etc.? Because the advertisers were coming here. Because their numbers were tanking. So... They had to do a massa. They had to try and poison the well. Poison the well in an effort to try and drive the advertisers back to them. Well, guess what? 
it failed miserably. Let's just go back to this. So this, so this is the end. Oh, I've got to do this. So this is the end for those of us working on the side. Yeah, it is right now, but not necessarily the end for the localized version of Kotaku. Yeah, yeah, it is. The rights will be reverting back to Geo Media this week, and US-based Kotaku will continue to operate and produce content. For now. For now. Fans can continue to follow Gizmodo at Kotaku.com. <laughs> no. I've been the UK editor, don't care. One thing this job gave me was a deep respect for the output of Kotaku and the talent and hard work of its US staff past and present. Hold on a second. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that out of my system. It goes on to say that thank yous finally... I'd like to say thank you to our readers. My sense was was always that you love games. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. But you stopped talking about them. You started to become contrarian. You started to push social and political issues in when they didn't deserve to be in there at all. You berated, you belittled, you insulted the very people who were meant to be clicking onto your site. You got everything that you deserved. How many times am I gonna have to say that this year? Have a sense of humor. Have to have a sense of humor if they came to your site. And value good writing, exactly. That's why they left and you're shutting down. That's what we always failed to deliver. Sorry, tried to deliver. So I, I had my truth lenses on. I'm sorry to say goodbye. Well, the good news is we're not. Uh, so there you go. Kotaku UK, it's gone. Kotaku US. Hi. How you doing? Hey. Chica, chica, chica. Only a matter of time only a matter of time hope you enjoyed the vid if you did do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel follow me on social media and youtube for live streaming links are in the description box down below i'll be back with some more stuff very soon you take care bye for now You take care. Bye for now. Waka, waka, waka.